Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, you're welcome and I hope you all are doing well. So in today's video, I'm going to be cutting and styling this beautiful wig right here. So I'm going to be cutting the 10 inch wig into a PC cut. Okay, so I have a separate video that I'm going to be posting on Friday on how I make this beautiful wig right here. So once that video is ready, I'm going to put a link in the description box down below. So for now, I'm just going to show you guys how I'm going to be cutting this hair. So to start, I'm going to go ahead and session off the hair. So the part that I'm sessioning off right now, I want this very session to be longer than the rest of the of the wig so i'm just going ahead to um session it and i'm gonna braid it just to get just to get it out of the way while i work with the rest of the hair step into the light i'm alive i can see your love shining you put it on the inside so no matter where the darkness you're shining like lightning So right now I'm just going, so for the first one right here, I'm sessioning off three tracks because I want the, the back to be like thick. So I'm just sessioning off three tracks at the first line, which is the first session. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, pull the rest of the hair away just to get it out of the way while I work with the bottom session. Okay, so now that that is done, I'm going to take my scissors, not scissors, I'm going to take the razor and the comb and go, first you want to make sure that the hair is tangle free. Oh, I think I did that off camera, I've already combed the hair off camera. So to start again, I'm going to be cutting the hair session by session, working with a little session at a time. So by doing it this way, you will have your perfect cut, uh, your perfect PC cut hair. So again, I'm just taking my time to gently cut the hair and also maintaining the length that I want for the wig. Okay, so now that that is done, I'm moving on to the next session and also doing the same thing, starting by combing the hair first to make sure it's tangle free. So next, I'm going to take the razor and uh, begin cutting. So I'm just going to let you guys watch this video for now and I'll be back when it's time to explain a little bit more. please be very careful when cutting the hair because well you don't want to cut yourself so be careful when using the razor to cut the hair cut hold the hair a little bit further than where you want your hair to stop so that way you won't accidentally cut yourself so just pay attention to what you're doing don't be cutting the hair and doing and uh, looking in the different spots because you can easily cut your finger off or okay you won't cut your finger off but you might cut yourself so you want to make sure to pay attention to what you're doing if i can't prove myself then what i do and who am i i still can't prove myself and still you chose to give your life i'm learning body ain't nothing without spirit and that you didn't leave just because at times i didn't feel it but when i look at christ i see a light that's so appealing i just let go of my fears and lose my life inside your healing step into the light i'm alive i can see your love shining so no matter where the darkness you're shining like lightning what? I surrender you fight my fight Darkness ever go take my life I'm so give you my praise as Okay, so I'm done with the back session. So I'm just going in with the scissors to trim up the bottom just to get rid of the flyaways that are poking out. So yeah, so you can see it looks layered. So by doing by cutting the hair session by session help you to get a perfect PC cut, especially when you're working with a long hair. So the one I'm working with in this video is 10 inch uh, hair. So that's why I did it session by session. 
Okay, so moving on to the next part, I'm going to go ahead and uh, repeat the same process on this very session, just that on this very part right here, I want the hair to be a bit longer so that way it can fall towards the front. So for this uh, middle part or the front part right here, I'm going to be cutting it in the direction on how I want the hair to fall or how I want the hair to look by the time I'm done. So for the ear side, I'm making sure to maintain the same length that I have on the back. And also when cutting this part, you don't want to cut it too short. You want to cut it a bit longer and take a look at it and see if that's the length you want. If you don't like the length or you want the length to be a bit shorter, then you can go ahead and cut it a little bit more. But you always want to cut it a bit longer just so you have the uh, you at the end of it, you will have the exact length that you want. So again, I'm just going back in to cut and trim the hair to the way I want it to look. So again, I want the hair to kind of do like a swoop motion. That's why I'm cutting the hair this way. And also make sure to comb the hair while cutting the hair. So cut a little bit, comb it, and comb it towards the direction of where you want the hair to fall and see how it's looking. If you're not liking how it's looking, go ahead and do your adjustment. So that's why you need to cut the hair session by session because if you make mistake on the first session you cut on the bottom, you can use the next one on top to kind of correct the mistake. Again, you want to make sure to cut it a bit longer at the beginning so that way you can go back in and readjust the length if you want. Okay, so right now I'm going ahead to uh, work on the last session. Jesus, my God. almost done so right now i'm just going ahead with the scissors again to trim the bottom part of the hair So here's how the wig is looking after cutting the hair. So next I'm going to be styling it to my liking. So to do that, I'm going to be using a styling mousse to kind of mold the hair and shape it the way I want it to look. So I just pumped the, uh, the foam on my palm. So right now I'm just going ahead to apply it on the hair. So to distribute the mousse on the hair, I'm going to be using comb and I'm going to take the mousse just as you can see right here and comb through the hair. So this will ensure that the mousse get into every single strand. So the styling mousse will help to uh, shape the hair and also straighten the hair. So by the time the hair dry, I comb it, it will stay straight. And uh, if you don't have the styling mousse, you can use a, a flat iron to straighten the hair. Okay, so I'm done applying the uh, the mousse on the hair. So I'm just gonna let this air dry overnight, and in the morning, once it's dry, fully dry, I'm gonna comb out the hair. Okay, so it's still wet, so it's not morning yet. <laughs> this is just a close up of the uh, of the hair.
Okay, all right, the hair is fully dry and it's the next day. So I'm just gonna take out the clip and uh, comb the hair. Just look at that. It's so soft. Just look at that, so beautiful. As you can see, the hair is straight and flat. So that would definitely do it. If you want your hair to be flat, if you want the wig to be flat, using this, uh, the styling moons will help you get that, will help you achieve that flat look on the hair. As you can see, the waves are going nowhere because the styling moons already, you know, tamed everything in place. I love it. Okay, so like I said earlier at the beginning of the video, I'm going to be posting the video on how I made this wig using just one bundle of hair, guys. Yes, I made this beautiful wig with just one bundle of hair. So you see the closure part right there? I made that closure from that same bundle of hair. So the video will be up on Friday. So be sure to tune in on Friday if you want to know how to make a wig with just one bundle of hair. How to make a natural looking wig with just one bundle of hair. When I say natural looking wig, I don't mean the blue one. The, the outcome will be natural. You can use whatever color you want, but the result is what I'm talking about just one bundle of hair all right okay so thank you guys so much for watching thank you so much for popping in today if you're new to my channel please don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below if you already subscribed thank you so much for subscribing and don't forget tune in on friday for the juicy video all right <laughs>